So if you want to use chords in Figure Notes software, we need to set up a chord part. So if you click on the instrument name at the start, this default says piano, but let's just change it to guitar. So you click on the instrument name and this edit part information box pops up. So we will change the name of this to guitar because I want it to be played on guitar. So we then need to click chord part. So there's three part types here that you can choose from. So we're going to use chord part. It doesn't matter so much if it's in treble clef or bass clef because at this point we're using stage one figure notes which doesn't have clefs. So once we've set this up as a chord part, so we can then drag in any octave that we want. I'm going to choose from these squares here, drag in. Now you can see that it doesn't quite fill the whole box here. So this is how we distinguish it from the squares that are in figure notes by making it slightly shorter and it will always have the name of the chord within it. We can then extend it. So I used the, my shortcut, just the number two to get it to be a minimum. We can also use our plus and our minus here. So if I want to have it the whole bar, I'm just gonna have a four. I can either repeat the chord or I can fill out the bar and you can then introduce different rhythms into your teaching but it can still be written like this. Okay, so say I want to add in, let's try an A minor chord. So I'll fill the bar with A major to start with. And then I'm gonna right click, show note info. And here we've got a whole list of chord types that you can use. We want to avoid using the complicated ones because this is figure notes and so this is for beginners or people who maybe can't read conventional notation to that standard yet. So we want to keep it nice and simple to start with. So I'm just going to change it to an A minor. You can see within the box there's little M appears and any accidentals or sharps and flats that would be within an A major chord, so the red with an upwards arrow, the C sharp, that's disappeared from the box because you no longer need that. And that's how you make minor chords in figure notes. If I want to change that, I can just right click show note info and change it back again. No problem. And that's how you do chords in figure notes. Hope that helps.